All right, getting started on getting PS2. Started All right, and you're seeing right away the bucket gonna be a factor, right? Oh yeah. Against Toon Link, you're gonna be bucketing a lot of his projectiles. But the thing is, Toon Link actually has some pretty decent buttons to not even need to uh, just abuse his projectiles. Yeah. And I wonder when you when you bucket when you bucket like bomb explosion, is that even a good bucket? I have no idea. Uh, Timing for bucket explosion is really difficult because you yeah. have to catch it on the Because it has to be when it hits the ground, yeah. Like, yeah. we're seeing all these bombs get reflected. It's not okay. going to be that good because it doesn't have much knockback to it. Yeah. Shoe bopper with the correct position as well. Going to see the tune coming out. All right. We're seeing plenty of bucket, but not a lot of hits from Pink Cage. Yeah. And then... Ooh, yeah, good swing line on the forward air. The classic Toon Link confirmed. That move is deadly. The forward air is such a strong move, and against a light character like uh, like Game & Watch here, this could really uh, spell Toon some issues for Pink Toon Link's been And Toon Link's been hitting those bomb affairs for a long time. You know? Yeah. All right, got it. We're going to see a little combo damage coming in. All right. Not too much. Doesn't get the up air. Kind of, uh, up air. Kind of yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Big house. Doing such a good job playing defensively Ooh. here. Not letting Pink Cage land anything substantial on him. Yeah, and, and Toon, Link up, Toon Link up be a factor in this, right? We see oh, yeah. some up, uppies. We saw an uppy on a Nair earlier, which I don't think is a real punish, I would I wouldn't think. But it it's is. It's close. It's close. Maybe see, it's a high Nair. The thing is, it's a, it's a, it's a weird thing. Toon Link up beat is really large and actually is pretty quick. So it catches a lot of options out. Yeah, especially like if he does the up higher on the field, right? Then it's going to punish. It's not the fastest thing. So there are some moves that you can land on it and and just hold shield and punish it later. But especially at ledge, it's such a good option. Yeah, I mean, otherwise known as the Ob McBob. You know, that's the, the up at, that's the up, that's the up at the ledge the specifically. The up at ledge. To be clear, to be clear. We might, we, Ooh, somehow that, oh my god, that's so much. Somehow that up smash killing. Game Watch such a light character because Toon Link up smash isn't necessarily usually the strongest. Yeah. And Pink Cage really, really got to find some answers here because it just feels like it feels to me like Greg House has just had the better game plan. Yeah. Pink Cage expecting just just bucket everything, but Greg House very smartly not just using these projectiles as his only move. He's using these projectiles to catch out the bucket and then just go for these uh, these nares, these up airs to just catch out everything Pink Cage is doing. And Pink Cage isn't able to find the kill because Greg House is such a strong defensive player. Absolutely. <laughs> and it's it can be really tough for Game and Watch to make these comebacks. That's the one one the one thing with this character, very strong character, right? But if you have to play behind as Game and Watch, his approach is a little limited. Yeah. And All his right. kill, uh, and also his kill confirms are also sometimes a little limited as well. Fine. We finally get a stock here. Yeah. All right. And if if you got anything this game for, as Pink Cage, you got it's got to come out right now. We're seeing a little bit more here. He's going. For, he's playing a little bit more aggressive here. A little bit more. This is gonna become tough if you don't. Uh, if you once you start getting to like that hundred percent plus, it's gonna become tough. Yeah. Usually, Pink Cage has a really slow uh, style to his game and watch where he's not going to overextend for anything and just go for safe buttons. But right here, Vevo has such a strong defensive oh, game. The, the boring saves and him. The up smash. Pulls the up smash to finish it. What a smart boomerang. Not letting Pink Cage get that kill confirmed just off the boomerang swing alone. I think, I think, oh, I, I think the boomerang just kind of happened to be there, but. Yeah. The, 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 one, but it, it saved them. Two, the awareness on that up smash at the end. Oh, was yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. Oh, it's nice. way funnier to say it was calculated, though. True. It was, <laughs> true, true, true. It's way more funny to say it was on purpose and that he meant to do that. Because even if he did it, it makes him look good. Indeed. It is definitely one of those things when you're Toon Link or any of these boomerang characters committing. When you know you've got that returning boomerang, you're thinking differently. Yeah, yeah. Because you, you know if, they gotta, if they're really committing to something. And it makes uh, your opponent think differently as well because they now have to think, should I end my combo shorter to avoid the boomerang or should I keep going and hope to just clank through it? Yeah, using grab arm reverse, it's usually really good if you can get that. Oh, yeah. Usually, uh, as me, Roller, I'll end my strings of flashing mock punch just so I can invincibility straight through the boomerang. All right, we got a better start Better start for Pink Gate here, but honestly, you got to get more than 24 off your 0% game and yeah. watch. Yeah. That's got to be, that's gotta, that's gotta be, that's gotta be, be an easy 40. Look at how long that up is. And it catches so, so much. So much damage, yeah. dude. That's the light killer, bro. That's the light killer. Right. Already a better start, though, honestly. Okay. He's 
Yeah, we're seeing a bit of adaptation from Pink Cage because uh, game one, he was trying to just play his own uh, game plan because usually when you play against Pink Cage, you're forced to play his, his game, but Greg House not letting that happen. He is just forcing Pink Cage to play, to force his own game and force Pink Cage to approach. And I think the smaller stage really benefiting Game & Watch right now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Not as much room for Vebo to just use his defensive Can style of play. Back? No. Oh, good could, uppy. No tech. Could have teched it, but I don't know if he was expecting it to send that way. I sure wasn't. Yeah. All right, we got Nairs. Oh, drop shield. Yeah. That could have been big damage, It's too. so long. It actually lasts a little longer on sealed just because of the shield stun. Mm -hmm. So it's always a little uh, okay. worrying to just see it happen. <laughs> I don't know if we wanted that bacon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good uppy. Yeah, the uppies out of shield versus the short hop aerials are, are brutal. Oh, yeah. It's you can, with both of these characters, honestly. Yeah, I'm trying to... Like, you got to be really careful with that platform pressure, it looks like. Yeah. Okay. So now, Pink Cage is getting to... Getting to play his own little game plan right now. He's able to play a lot more defensively and force Greg House to make the opening moves in a lot of these situations. Otherwise, Pink Cage is just going to keep sitting back and not let yeah. Vavo make anything happen. Yeah, here. and Vavo doesn't have all that space that he had to, to like, dash back against the Nairs and stuff. Yeah. To set up the boomerangs. He's really having to play the game more, which is... A tough, a tough spot against Game Watch. Playing the game versus Game Watch is not where you want to be. Yeah. This is looking very rough. Okay. Ooh, good up air. That is oh. a powerful up air. Yeah, and the awareness. He just destroyed that shield. That move does not have a sour spot, by the way. It is active for the entire. Oh, the up air. Yeah, that up air is very, very good move. Yeah, catches out air dodges a lot too. All right, can we get back to neutral here? Good get-up attack. That was very smart just, just to bomb, force though. Pink Cage back to center stage. Yeah, and we're even seeing some more drift, some more full drift on those nares so you just can't get up. Either. Yeah. This is this is definitely a much more difficult spot for Greg House right now, but nothing he can make back. Game & Watch is still a really light character and is susceptible to getting, a, getting hit with these bigger buttons. Could just take it right now. 69 yeah, this is actually not very. This is actually not too bad at all right now. Yeah. This is actually totally fine. Ooh, good fair. And finally, and we evened it up. Catch, yeah, I was able to catch <laughs> the ob. The ob. The ob. And he kills him. He did it. He did the thing. Ob he did the Gavin Tech. <laughs> oh man. And the total momentum shift. I think Pink Cage maybe getting a little bit maybe getting a little bit predictable at the end there. Oh yeah. And then. Total I think a really good, uh, really good tool that Greg House is using right now. He's throwing these bombs upward, which now forces Pink Cage to think more on where he's landing, because otherwise he's gonna get caught up by the bomb, caught into a forwarder, and it's yeah, just... absolutely. And we've just see a full momentum switch uh, okay, into good. Greg House's favor. Oh, the pivot grab on the air dodge. House MD, bro. Ooh, and this is looking very good right now. Okay, tries to jump. All right. Biddy missing the grab. And Game and Watch doesn't have any non like really laggy kill options right now, and really not susceptible. Oh. The Omnic Bob again, barely not gonna kill there. It's such a strong tool. We see the guy. And the <laughs> okay, forward, yeah, that's gonna it. clean it out. Yeah, and swing by the the, the, mul the multiple consecutive Omnic Bob's conditioning jump right there. Yeah.